I am Christian Dick Bikunag from Batangas City and task to share my review about nanotechnology. At the end of my presentation, we shall be able to trace the history of nanotechnology, define nanotechnology in some aspects, and enumerate the benefits of nanotechnology. Let's start. In the word nanotechnology, the prefix nano means billion. It is enabled by very tiny materials called nanomaterials and are already inside of many products we use every day. Nanomaterials and their application are still being discovered and these are endless possibilities for a new generation of STEM materials. It was Richard Zygmondi, an ethnic Hungarian chemist from Austria and a 1925 Nobel Prize winner, who was the first to propose the concept of nanometer by characterizing particle size and measuring the size of particles such as gold colloids in a microscope. In the field of research, nanotechnology is defined as an innovation on building things generally, materials, and devices. Although nanotechnology is anticipated to be at the base of the 21st century industrial revolution, it is not taught in high schools or colleges due primarily to a lack of properly designed courses. Governments believe in the given promise of nanotechnology, which is to harness its potential and to profit from it to bring about a new era of productivity and wealth. In fact, the American President's 2021 budget request over $1.7 billion for the National Nanotechnology Initiative with an increased investment in the foundational research that will lead to discoveries that will advance a wide range of areas, including key industries of the future. Nanotechnology can give many benefits, such as it can increase the productivity of energy expenditure. Nanotechnology can address the shortage of fossil fuels, such as diesel and gasoline, by making the production of fuels from low-grade new materials economical. Developing a good and clean environment, nanotechnology has enormous potential for providing innovative solutions to a wide range of environmental issues. These include improved methods for reducing pollution, water treatment, environmental sensing, remediation, and making alternative energy sources more cost-effective. And develop working out serious health challenges. Nanotechnology is already leading to dramatic improvements in healthcare. Scientists are using nanoparticles to target tumors in delivering systems to improve medical imaging. It can also help in increasing the production of goods at considerably lower cost. Nanomanufacturing involves scaled up, reliable, and cost effective. It also includes research development and integration of top-down processes and increasingly complex bottom-up or self-assembly process. Products of nanotechnology are tinier, not expensive, lighter but are designed to be more practical and useful, as well as give less energy with batteries that last longer and require fewer raw materials. Nanotechnology may seem like something out of the future, but in fact, 
Many everyday products are already made using nanotechnology, just like an upholstered furniture. It became less flammable by coating the foam used in upholstered furniture with carbon nanofibers. Manufacturers can reduce flammability by up to 35%. Another, medical diagnostic equipment becomes more accurate and medical care is given in a shorter period. In pharmaceutical products, nanoparticles enhance absorption inside the body and make them easier to produce. Nanoparticles can also eradicate cancer cells since they can be used to deliver chemotherapy drugs. In transportation, it improves vehicle fuel efficiency and withstands corrosion by building vehicle parts from nanocomposite materials that are lighter, stronger, and more chemically resistant than metal. In fabrics, nanoparticles or nanofibers can enhance skin resistance, penetrate water and fire to some degree without affecting fabric weight, thickness, or stiffness. An example is Pant's Nano Whispers, which make them repellent to water and blemishes. In sports, sports equipment can be stronger and lighter weight through carbon nanotubes. An example of this is a tennis racket that is made with carbon nanotubes. It curves less during impact and increases the intensity and exactness of the transport. While tennis balls can bounce twice as long as standard tennis balls when treated with nanoparticles. Sunscreen lotions that spread more easily over the skin and effectively block and protect the skin from dangerous ultraviolet rays are also made from nanoparticles. Same with food packaging to lower ultraviolet exposure and extend shelf life. Drinking bottles that are made from plastic containing nanoplates increase endurance to penetrate oxygen, carbon dioxide, and moisture. Because of it, carbonation and pressure inside the bottle are retained, which increases shelf life by several months. At amazing low levels, chemicals can be detected with a huge variety of programmed chemical sensors like a single molecule out of billions. This capability is perfect for reconnaissance and security frameworks at labs, mechanical destinations, and air terminals. On the therapeutic front, nanosensors can moreover be utilized to precisely distinguish specific cells or substances within the body. When asked almost nanotechnology's most noteworthy potential for moving forward the state of the world, it was the purification of air and water. Nanotechnology impacts society through improvement in different fields which are expected to significantly affect the government and people, like in the areas of military application, intellectual property issues, as well as having an effort on labor and the balance between citizens and the government. 
that's all about nanotechnology. Thank you very much.